I want to ask you, Dex. Yeah. Um, because you just, you know, your background, you have more than a decade experience in news journalism. You, your job was pretty much being a photo editor, saying uh, mm -hmm. uh, when you used to work as one job, saying you looked at all the paparazzi photos. Just, what did you say? You were, you were like a, a photo at TMZ. Editor. Did you not want to say TMZ? No, I didn't want to say him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was the. the, yeah. the <laughs> I was in charge of all the photos coming so, in and out of TMZ. Yes, you saw all paparazzi photos. You were the one doing the first thing. Hey, we should use this photo. We shouldn't use this photo. Um, mm -hmm. But you saw all the photos. Now, there was a lot of angry people uh, okay. with the Bob Saget funeral photos. Mm. What are yes. your you know, a lot of people commenting saying, you know, this should be a private thing, paparazzi or dirtbags. What is your take when you saw the Bob Saget funeral photo? Uh, well, I knew Hollywood Raw was not going to be posting them. I'm out a bit about not posting that stuff. The weird part is we live in this society where, you know, you go on Facebook, people are posting photos uh, of funerals or at memorials. And um, it's a tough call. It really is. You know, I, I think that there's going to be an outlet out there that posts them. And whether you like it or not, it's, it's news. You know, if you, if you remember back to Michael Jackson's ceremony, I mean, that was, I remember helicopters flying around news cameras, watching them pull the hearse into the, the cemetery. I mean, it's funny. It's like, if it's a paparazzi photo, it's not welcome. However, if it's a channel Four news helicopter live streaming it, suddenly it's okay. It's, it's a weird paradox where people want to know that it's happening. They want to know all the celebs that went to it, but like, don't show it to me because then it feels gross. Yeah. It's, uh, it's funny. Cause I saw the New York post post the photos from the funeral holding the casket. And then the comments were just very against the New York post. And I'm like, did they do the right thing or didn't do the right thing? And you're right. People kind of want to know who showed up, but then it, it's, they want to know. They like, listen, they're reading and they're like, oh, look, John Mayer was there. Oh, look, this person, you know, and it's like they want the information, but they don't want to know how the information was found. It's like eating a hamburger. You know, like, I, I don't want to see the cow that it came from. I just want the hamburger there. And I feel like that's what people feel like with paparazzi photos. They enjoy paparazzi photos. They want to look at paparazzi photos. But like, I don't want to know how they got made. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. It's such a touchy subject, and it's weird. I know we didn't want to touch it because mm -hmm. we didn't know if we. It's felt just like it. what is what like what what that's not going to help. You know, it's it's just going to yeah. piss people off. You know, and I I feel like there does need to be a certain line of, you know, let them have their day. We we don't we don't need to post photos of this moment in time when people are grieving and sad and. You know, so for me uh, on my platform, no, I we didn't need to post them. But when you worked at TMZ, you were the one looking at, you know, the Whitney Houston and Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. you, you you were just like, hey, Paul, we have to like we have to show all this. Yeah, it's, it's just it's a it's a different platform. I mean, TMZ is a different platform and, you know, things that they get away with other people don't. And um, yeah, I think I think they needed to be done in a way where it was shot on public property but yeah people want to see it at the end of the day there is a large curiosity for that kind of content yeah speaking of paparazzi though i'm, I'm curious how many paparazzi are waiting outside britney spears home every day right now you know she's the big shot after think that many her sister i mean her her and her sister going at it or it's a pretty big news story yeah, so but, I but Brittany like, doesn't leave like she used to leave. You know what I'm saying? Like she used to go out and drive around daily. Now nah, she doesn't leave that much anymore. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's she's almost imprisoned in her own home. Like she just yeah. doesn't leave her home. Her and her sister situation is just getting crazy. You know, obviously her sister's promoting promoting a book. Brittany thinks that Jamie's taking a you know trying to sell a book through her. So there's a lot of public well, she. About she is trying to sell a book through her. Let's let's not sugarcoat that. She is using the Spears last name to champion this book. I do feel like there is a level of you're the sister, you're being just battered in media and you want to be able to stand up for yourself and you know, you got to realize Jamie Jamie Lynn was very young when a lot of this stuff went on. Can you really throw that much shade at Jamie like why didn't you help out Brittany? She was young. She was like a child. You know, she what, what the hell was she going to do for her sister? 
So I feel that she is getting unnecessary hate. And then, you know, people want to always back the celebrity at the end of the day anyway. So yeah. she's going to be the, the the villain anyway. Yeah, no, it's I'm I'm curious how the story is going to end with these two. It's uh, it's just yeah. a wild situation. It's very public right now. Every single day. I mean, throughout the day, you're just getting updates on them, you know, like fighting through us like we're the middlemen.